Shake, 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 He's going to be turning six months tomorrow, and we just made. Well, I just set up his pictures for tomorrow. And you've so, been crying. Yeah, and I've been crying a little bit. Paige has been emotional too. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's halfway to a year. I can't believe it. I feel like the time has flown by, and to imagine the same amount of time going by again, and he's already going to be one years old is crazy. So I usually set up his pictures. Um, a day of like moments before but since he has a doctor's appointment in the morning his doctor's appointment in the morning is like pretty early and so when we come back hopefully he takes a nap and then wakes up and we take his pictures so i did it on the wall this time because he's sitting up and so i thought it would be a cool idea to put it up there so we could take him like that um i got the little heart for six months we have this little setup and his outfit ready to go so in the morning he'll just get ready and we will go are you excited to be six months old papas you're such a smart <laughs> handsome happy little baby i love you <laughs> okay here Bye. Um, so, it's about 10.30, um, and Jedediah is already down for sleep, right? And I didn't mention it earlier, but, um, today, Pedro and I kind of vlogged a day in the life of Jedediah for his, um, Instagram account. And his Instagram account is only really for family and friends, like, close friends. And, um... During that, I mentioned how um, how we are putting him, like all day today, we put him to sleep in his crib, but we moved his crib from our bedroom to his room. And in the beginning, his first like month, and, month two months, his first two months, um, he would take his naps in his room. So we would swaddle him and put him in his room to sleep. And... Um, that worked really good. It wasn't until I started working in his room when we kind of had to move his crib out because he wasn't having like anywhere to safely sleep. So we moved his crib into our bedroom as a way for like, you know, more convenience while I was using his room for work. And just so we can continue to practice putting him down in his bed. And it worked. It was a really good way to have someone for him to sleep for him to practice sleeping in his crib but um i knew this since he was about like pretty much since we moved the crib into our room i knew i didn't want it to stay in our room because as much as i want him to be near and it to be easy for me to feed and attend to him i also don't want it to be like just a habit of like not letting him have his space and get used to his room um we do live in an apartment in in we live in an apartment so it's not like this is his forever room it's just for like another year or so but he's going to realize like oh this is my room like he's gonna grow into it so i want him to have that space to sleep and play and i want him to associate that room with sleep and then we could play in there but i don't want him to realize that our room is for him and um so i wanted to make sure by the time he turns six months that we start practicing him sleeping in his crib and that's what we did all day today he took his three naps in his crib and if you ask me i feel like his sleep was even better he slept two one hour plus naps and one of a shorter nap um, we did buy, because we were using blackout curtains in here, but it was just inconvenient for us, especially me, because I like to, like, clean, do stuff, like, and I felt like I couldn't do that when he was asleep, because, um, 
our room was had an environment for him so it would be dark in here his sound machine would be on and he would be in here sleep so if i was in here with him i would be sleeping with him or just watching videos and i felt like i was not being productive enough so by having him in his room and our room on the completely opposite side of the apartment i'm able to be i'm able to do things on my own as well um and in the living room so um that's why like I wanted to make sure he slept in his crib. Um, he's been asleep for over an hour now, and as I just I just got out the shower and I'm just like getting ready for bed, and I just am feeling like I know he's safe. Like I'm not worried about anything. It's just that stage that he's getting bigger. Obviously, like um, I'm just sad. Because he did spend a good chunk of, like, literally half of the time he's been alive, he spent sleeping in our room. And um, a majority of the time, he slept in our bed, honestly. Because at night, like, I've talked about it, the whole breastfeeding and getting up and down thing. So he slept, he sleeps with us a lot. And I um, cuddle him a lot. And so I just want to mentally prepare for, like, him to stay in his room. And even if I have to wake up to feed him, I don't want to be lazy and just bring him back to our room because then I'm going to be more attached to him being with us. And I'm already like super emotional about him just getting bigger and growing, which is great. It's just something to adjust to. But just wanted to update you guys and kind of fill you in um, because he is sleeping in his room. And here he is again. So yeah, um, um, I will update you guys tomorrow and kind of follow, have you guys follow along with us since tomorrow is his six month, his half birthday, I want to vlog obviously, um, and keep you guys updated. Someone's at his six month checkup. Oh, you better not throw up on me. He said his six month checkup. You ready, Papas? Did I? You ready? <laughs> Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Okay, boys. We're gonna be a big boy, okay? Look at this cutie! Wow! Look at him! Oh, he looks so Wow! Look at someone in some pants! Hi, oh, Angel! <laughs> We're gonna go check out this place to see how much they charge for swim classes and then we're going to pick up his cake because we're going to take pictures later. Mm. We're going to take pictures later and then we need to find a car seat because this boy is a little too long for his car seat. So we'll, we'll keep you guys updated. That was your sneezy, Papa. I'm trying to hear anything in computer, Today is your birthday. It's your half birthday. Whoa, Papa. Happy birthday to you. Happy half birthday to you. Did it 
Zaya. It's fucking a little weird. It's all weird. Here's our six month old tearing up this cake. <laughs> He's going in. Oh my goodness, Papa's. Okay, so, just to update you guys on what we've been up to today. So, um, after the last part you guys probably saw was him like eating his cake and we were singing happy birthday to him. After that, we kind of just hung out and played with him. He went down for his nap. And when he woke up, um, we went to go have dinner. We ate at a steakhouse, and then um, during that, like on our way over there, Jedediah threw up like quite a bit, and it got me a little worried, like maybe we upset his stomach with the cake, but honestly, we weren't intentionally like expecting him to eat the cake. We just provided it to him to sing happy birthday, and he ended up grabbing it and going ham, so I think his stomach started hurting a little bit, but... We kept an eye out on him while we were eating. We were gonna go home right after, but decided, well, there's something I've been wanting to buy at Bye Bye Baby, so we stopped by, and he just chilled in his um, stroller the entire time, and he was fine. What? Um, so before I show you guys Jedediah and what he's currently doing, I just wanna update you guys with the what we got at Bye Bye Baby. So the original reason I went was because I wanted these little spoons that are used to help babies prepare for eating off of a spoon. And I know Jedediah can already put a spoon in his mouth with food on it, but I thought these would still be good practice for like really eating with spoons. And I'll show you guys that in a bit. But we picked up a few different things and I wanted to take a look at some um, bigger items. So at his doctor's appointment, Jedediah currently weighs 25 pounds and he is 28.5 or 28 and a half inches long and pretty much both of we have two car seats and one for like each of our cars and we have been keeping an eye out on it for weight but we haven't been paying attention to height and his height is very close to the limit so our car seats that we currently have the weight limit is 30 35 pounds and the height is 32 inches and he is like i said almost 29 inches which is only a few inches away from being past the limit so just for his safety and for his comfort we started looking into our next step and this is actually um something i'm going to be filming and talking about later and that's things that new parents learn as they go like you don't know about these things until you already become a parent and so we didn't know what happens after a car seat like i know he's too small for a booster seat but what happens next and so we had to learn about that and we found something that we liked it was on sale and so we're going to try that out we bought him a hat a beanie some adidas outfit and the spoons uh, toy and his new car seat um, so let's go see what Jedediah is doing he's here playing with his toys he's having his independent play time I don't want to bother him too much but I gave him a couple of toys to new toys to play with um, and he's been enjoying them. He's been here for about 20 minutes or so. Playing with this box. Pretty much he's just putting everything in his mouth. Um, but this is one of the spoons that I was talking about. He's been noticing his hands, so he's doing these like weird hand motions. <laughs> he's so aggressive. But yeah, he's teething, so everything he just wants to put in his mouth. Hi, hey, Bubba's. What are you doing? What are you? <laughs> Whoa! 